Hello and welcome to a micro episode of the Omics Cast. Today we're going to talk about whole genome sequencing compared to whole exome sequencing compared to targeted sequencing. How much sequencing is each of these types? Well, here's the analogy for you. The whole genome sequencing of a human genome at 30x coverage would be the size of an orange. That's the volume of sequencing that we're doing. And so if your machine can process 16 or 24 oranges in one go and extract the juice inside that, that's how much sequencing you're doing. In comparison, whole exome sequencing, which is to sequence about 2 or 3% of the genome at around 100, 100x coverage, would be the size of a grape. So each exome for each individual or, it, or sample would be one of these grapes. And so in volume, you can put as many grapes as you can for your machine to extract the sequencing juice of these, um, uh, of, of all these grapes. How does it compare to targeted sequencing of a gene panel? When they say, we've done targeted sequencing of a, a panel of 50 cancer genes or 400 cancer genes, how much sequencing is that? Well, that would be like sequencing a grain of rice, like, like you see here. So how many uh, panels of cancer genes can you put on a sequencing run? Well, in volume, as many as you can put uh, grains of rice compared to uh, exome sequencing for grapes and compared to whole genome sequencing for oranges. And finally, what if you only want to sequence a single gene or a very small region uh, of the human genome? That would compare to sequencing a seed of sesame, a sesame seed, which is much smaller in volume than a grain of salt of, of rice, which would be the targeted sequencing of a gene panel, and much smaller than a grape, which would be comparably a whole exome sequencing, and much smaller than an orange, which would be a whole genome sequencing at 30x. If you like this episode, follow at the Omics Cast at bitly.com, bitly forward slash the Omics Cast. Thanks for listening.